Assalamu alaikum mid city students and welcome to the academic session 2020-21. Hope you all are doing well. Today is the 8th lecture of science for grade 4. A short review about what is habitat. A habitat is the place where the living things live and the habitat provides the living thing with what it needs to survive such as food, water, shelter and protection. Our today's topic is related to in what ways are animals situated or adapted to the environment. Kindly refer to page number 61. Here you can see two examples given. Look at the two images. Each image has different feet. The pair of two feet. See, the eagle has feet with sharp claws and the duck has feet with webbed feet. Ducks live near the water. Their web feet help them to paddle in the water. And eagles have sharp claws on their feet to catch animals for food. Different habitats have different environments. The environment of a habitat is made up of living things in the habitat as well as physical conditions. These include air, water, temperature, light and soil. Animals have character characteristics that help them survive in their habitats. The animals are situated or adapted to the environment of their habitat. The characteristics that help an animal to survive in its habitat are called adaption. For adaption, see on this slide there is the best example here given in what ways a camel adapted to live in desert. You can see the uh, image of a camel. Camel live in hot and sandy de deserts. There is very little water and food. When camel find water in the desert, they will drink a lot of water at one time. They can survive on that amount of water for weeks. Camel perspire very little, so they do not lose water from their bodies too quickly. Now coming to the next example that is given on the slide is in what ways are polar bears adapted to live in the Arctic? Polar bears live in the Arctic that is very cold. Snow covers the ground and water is usually trapped under ice. So the condition here is the body keeps them warm. The fur body keeps them warm. The nostrils can be closed to keep the water out when it swims under water to hunt. Its sharp claws help it catch other animals for food. So this is how the poor bear lives in the Arctic in the cold climate. The third example is in what ways are fish fishes adapted to live in water. You can see fishes live in water such as ponds, rivers and ocean. A shark is a fish that lives in ocean. Its fin and tail help it to swim and keep its balance in water. Its streamlined body shape reduces water resistance to help it move quickly through water. And its gill helps to breathe under water. The last example is in what ways are some animals adapted to live in mangrove swans. In mangrove swans are habitat for animals such as saltwater crocodiles, mud skippers. Here on the slide, the example is given of a mud skipper. Due high tide, parts of mangrove swamps are flooded with seawater. A mud skipper is a fish. Like other fishes, it is adapted to living in water. For example, its eyes on top of its head help it to see above water and underwater. Its strong muscular fins help it to walk or to skip on land. It is also breathed through its skin and mouth when it is in water. 
It fills the space around its gill with water that is rich in dissolved air. This helps it to breathe out of water. So, you have seen these four examples. What we have learned today is animals are situated or adapted to the environment of their habitat. The characteristics that help an animal to survive in its habitat are called adaptions and there are different animals living in different places. For example, here deserts, such as uh, in animals that live in deserts such as camel, animals that live in cold arctic such as polar bear, animals that live in water such as fishes, and animals that live in mangrove swamps such as mudscapers. So with this we have completed the explanation of this part. Now in the next session we will learn about what is an identification key. Thank you.